Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 810 for Technical and Vocational Schools. It is Unit 8, Lesson 2, Embedded Questions with Infinitives. In order for you to do the lesson well, you need the following. Number one, Project Success 3, Student's Book. Number two, a notebook or a piece of paper. Number three, a pen or a pencil. Number four, a dictionary. Lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to use embedded questions with infinitives in writing sentences. So, let me ask you, what is an embedded question? In order for me to explain this, I need to introduce a sentence. So, I have a phrase, I don't know. I need to embed a question within this sentence. So I say, I don't know where to find the employee handbook. So there is a question within the sentence. Okay, let me show you another one. Layla told us I need to use the embedded question. So Layla told us how to use that program. A third example. I didn't know. Let me use embedded question. I didn't know whether to go home or not. So embedded questions like where to find the employee handbook, how to use that program, whether to go home or not, are used to give more polite questions. They are within a sentence or a question. So this phrases of these phrases, sentences or questions, they come before and then the uh, embed question. So in order for us to use the embedded questions, we have to know the WH qu question words that we could use with that. So we could use what. We can say what thing or just what. Where for places. Which as a choice. When. Who for people? Who is for possession? How, adjective or adverb? And then whether. This is not a question word, it is a conjunction, but you can use it with them. And it starts with WH. All right, so common introductory phrases, like the phrases I showed you before. You can start with, could you tell me? Or you can say, can you explain? And then the embedded question. I'd like to know. I wonder. I'm not sure. Let's ask. I don't know. He told us. I can't decide. I didn't know. I wasn't certain. I asked her. Of course, the subjects in this you can change. For example, instead of He'd like to know, or sorry, I'd like to know, you can say he'd like to know. Or instead of I asked her, you say they ask, asked us. So, embedded questions with infinitives. Direct questions. Then the embedded questions. Let me show you the first type. What can I wear? This is a direct question. Now, with this, I would like to use the embedded question. I say, can you tell me the introductory phrase and then the embedded question, what to wear without the question mark? The first one, because it is a direct question, you have to use the question mark. And the second one, because it is an embedded question within a sentence. So you cannot use the question mark. Can you tell me what to wear? because it is a polite question. Where should I go? Question mark, direct. I say, can you tell me where to go? Where to go? Which one can I choose? Question mark. I wonder which one to choose. Which one to choose? You see, which, you have to add a choice, which one to choose. When could I go home? Question mark. I introduce an introductory uh, phrase. I'm not sure 
when to go home. Who can I talk to? Question mark. Introductory phrase. I'm not certain who to talk to. Whose car should I use? Question mark. She told us whose car to use. How long can I stay? I'd like to know how long to stay. You see, I have highlighted the models because the models, from the models, you can build the two plus verb, the infinitives, two plus verb. And because we have the question word in here, you can use it again in the embedded question. Let's go to task number one. Question. Place the WH question words in the following. You have a mark of three. Number one. Fatima cannot decide to go home now or not. Now you have to place the WH question word or the conjunction in this case within this sentence. You have five seconds. Let's check the answer. The answer is right over there. Whether. You say Fatima cannot decide whether to go home now or not. You have a mark to give yourself. Uh, number two. Hamza taught us to use the new gadget. You have to place how within this sentence. You have five seconds. All right, let's check the answer. The answer is right over here. Hamza taught us how to use the new gadget. Let's go to the third one. We had no idea to find the toolbox in the shop. You have to use where between the parentheses. Five seconds. All right, let's check the answer. The answer is right here, just before the two. We had no idea where to find the toolbox in the shop. Give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. Task number two. Question, write T if the sentence is correct or F if it is false. And you have a mark of three. Number one, he wonders how far does he have to go. If the sentence is correct, then uh, circle T. If it's false, circle F. I have five seconds. Okay, let's check the answer. The answer is F. And why is that? Because he wonders how far to go, how far to go. This is how you write the embedded question in a sentence. Two, the girls are unsure whose notebook to borrow. Have five seconds. Let's check the answer. The answer, true. Let's jump to the third one. We're not certain to use the machine. Five seconds. Let's check the answer. The answer is false. And this is because we're not certain how to use the machine. How to use the machine. You have to use a question word. All right, give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. Task number three. 
and your notebooks answer the following. Question A. Rewrite the, t the sentences using infinitives as in the example below. I'm going to do the first one. You have a mark of four. I can't decide where I should eat lunch today. This should be like this. I can't decide where to eat lunch today. Now, you have number two, three, four, and five. And I decided that because I have where in here and should. You have three minutes. Now let's go to the model answer. For number two, Samira doesn't know who to hire for the sales clerk position. Number three, my boss told us when to take a break. Number four, I wasn't sure what to do first. Number five, Amani asked me how to fix the photocopier. Now give yourself a mark and let's carry on. Task number four. In your notebooks, answer the following. Think back when you were a student at your school. What didn't you know about the school? Write four embedded questions with infinitives like the example below. And you have a mark of eight. I didn't know how to find my classroom. Now, you can use, she taught me, I couldn't decide, I wondered, all the introductory questions, phrases. You have three minutes.
All right, now let's jump to the model answer. But before you do that, you have to use the self-correcting tools. After you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. Number two, a full stop. Number three, no spelling mistakes by checking every word using a dictionary. Number four, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. Now, let's go over the model answer for question B. First one, in the first days, comma, I didn't know when to take a break. Two, Mr. Abed taught us how to use a computer. Three, I wondered whether to join school competitions or not. Four, I wasn't sure back then what type of calculation, calculator to buy. Of course, these sentences should be different to yours, but you can compare both lists. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back plus two marks for finishing the lesson and calculate your final mark. Evaluating lesson objectives. Now you are able to use embedded questions with infinitives in writing sentences. And you have a mark of 20. If you have 100% perfect answers, that means 20 marks, then you can proceed to the next lesson. If you have 75% and above, that means 15 marks and more, then you can go over the part you failed in and redo it. If you have 75% and below, that means 15 marks or lower, then redo the whole lesson. As always, practice makes perfect. Good luck and thank you for, for your attention.